Wish stock is one of the worst decliners this year, down 82% year to date. Welcome to our channel, e-commerce know-how, and in this video, we'll see whether e-commerce giant Wish can recover in 2022. Wish is the company that runs the Wish.com online store and its associated mobile applications all over the world. Retail store reopenings and loosening lockdowns combined to steal business from online retailers, but this doesn't explain Wish's stock painful decline in 2021. A critical examination of the company's problems and proposed solutions could aid in answering the million dollar question raised above. Wish's stock problems in 2021. Wish's platform saw a massive exodus of users in 2021. Despite a global decline in e-commerce traffic as physical stores reopened and people returned home after months of COVID-19 pandemic-induced lockdowns, Wish.com faced unique home challenges. Before the application ban in France, users complained about product quality issues and unreasonably long return processing turnaround times. Quality control issues could be linked to an influx of low-cost Asian vendors whose products fell far short of European market standards. Recently, some products have been labeled as dangerous for French consumers. Wish had taken drastic measures to address quality control issues prior to the France fallout, including actively assessing vendors, offering financial incentives to attract high-quality vendors, and establishing logistics services to address customer concerns. Nonetheless, the average number of active buyers have been declining throughout the year. Customer churn worsened during the third quarter as the company suspended advertising expenditures to limit cash bleed and contain losses as it dealt with its issues. Investors are already aware that Wish's e-commerce platform is losing users. Before going public in December 2020, the company served over 100 million monthly active users. During the third quarter of this year, the figure fell to around 60 million. Wish.com received an approximately 158 million visits in November 2020. The figure fell by nearly 57% year-on-year to around 68.1 million in November 2021. This is despite the fact that people are reportedly starting to shop for holiday season early this year due to ongoing global supply chain challenges. Wish appears to be in trouble again. In comparison, Amazon website traffic fell 26.5% in November and 28.6% in the first two months of the fourth quarter. Opportunities for Wish stock recovery in 2022 Wish introduced a buy now pay later option in shoppable videos in which users can purchase an item from a demo video to reduce customer churn, and these innovations are aimed at attracting new shoppers and merchants to the Wish.com platform. Wish is providing financial incentives in order to attract high-quality vendors. It also provides its users with discounts and coupons. If these strategies are successful, business volumes may increase, but profitability may suffer in the short term. In addition, the company expanded its own proprietary logistics network to assist in reducing delivery delays and improving logistic lead times. Logistics revenue has recently increased. Nonetheless, despite an early holiday shopping season, the company revealed that its sales for October were down by around 20%. Revenue declines may continue into 2022. Wish fortunately had more than $1 billion in cash on its balance sheet in September. The company appears to have sufficient liquidity to carry out its business reconfiguration strategy next year. The company's CEO and founder, Peter Sluchewski, announced his premature departure in November. Although Peter would continue to serve on the board, the founder's leadership would have been critical during a turnaround strategy in 2022. Most notably, Piotr's departure immediately disqualifies him from resuming his allocation of 10 million shares of the company, received in a stock incentive plan when the company went public a year ago. If he'd stayed with the company until December 2022, the shares would have vested. Could the company's issues be so severe that its founder feels overwhelmed? Wish would recoup $16 million in stock-based compensation expenses related to the outgoing CEO's forfeited benefit. Investor Takeaway Wishtalk may regain some of its lost value in 2022, as it resumes advertising spending, improves logistic challenges, and improves offered product quality. Having said that, the company urgently needs to find a new leader and hope that its French problems does not spread to other European markets. During the most recent quarter, Europe accounted for 38% of Wish's market revenue. The region remains a significant revenue-generating market, and losing a key market will be prohibitively expensive. Wish's stock may face additional downward pressure in their near term until the company stabilizes its customer churn, begins to grow user traffic, and stabilizes its recently elevated cash burn rates. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Do you shop from Wish? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.